Namaste, Muji. Many things have happened over the course of the last three weeks. And I've been researching, as you've said. And um, I've had many experiences in the context of truth. And I see I'm, I've come to see that I'm not my mind. And that it's seems like two at times in my mind speaking but I see it's only somehow when I enter that state it's like that when you when you identify mm. when you identify with it because it's a wonderful ability that everyone has and it is to be detached to be detached your senses are still functioning your capacity to perceive is still functioning but you have not signed a contract, you have not, you have not combined what you are seeing with yourself. So you can see even more clearly what is there. It is a habit to identify and that is what I have been over and over again pointing out. When you identify these, uh, these uh, forces, you get pulled into being a person again, into personhood. And personhood, although it is an aspect of consciousness, it is a very unreliable uh, aspect of consciousness. It's not stable, and if you if you adhere to it, if you if you hold on and hold your identity in personhood, you'll you'll be talking like this for a, quite a long time. Supposing this was your last satsang. Supposing today, this today was your last satsang. After this, we don't know. We don't know what is tomorrow. We don't know what is later on today. We don't know. But this is your chance. Would you approach in a different way? Yes. Approach me like this. Approach like this. Get the best out of it. Because sometimes your mind is still not, you're not taking the risk, the sense of risk to, to be free, you know? We are still asking, maybe, you know, yeah, can you help me a little bit like this? And could, could you help me maybe to understand? No, and I said, listen, your house is on fire. And you are you're painting your bedroom. Your house is on fire, you know. You have to get out. What is this house? The house of the personal, the person. Is it? Uh, that brings so much suffering and uh, so distortion and you know like this. Uh, don't upgrade him. We're not here to upgrade the person, but to transcend. And when you transcend the person, you become more yourself. You feel more yourself. You feel more yourself. Each state you're in, you think, yeah, you know, good or bad, you kind of say, it's, it's just me. You know why? Because the I amness is there. And that I am feeling, it is consciousness. It is consciousness that, that, is, the, that, that is the life in you. The consciousness and the life force, that is the aliveness and the life in you, as you. But your person is concerned about, yeah, what I'm going to do next week, and I don't have enough money to pay this, and you know, oh, I, I was late with this thing, and oh yeah, oh, let's go and do this. This looks like exciting, and the person is always moving like this, and concerned about its own security, its own well, sort of well-being, but not really. If it really could see, your well-being would be to to really understand your nature in a complete way. That is the best well-being you can discover. Not just having a fit body, you know, nice, nice curves and nice uh, things and so on. That is not enough for an intelligent being. As you begin to discover a little bit more, go under the surface of consciousness, uh, beyond, underneath, the, behind the person, behind the facade of a person, and just in a short, short while, you're in the domain of being again. And this I've been trying to 
over and over to invite you into this state. You see? And we can do it now again. Because it will, it will take care of this problem and every other problem. Because you can be here telling me, okay, I've got this problem. It's just, this is one of 25 problems I have. And I was like, well, my gosh, it's not very encouraging. I mean, I spend, you know, so much time doing one, we've got 25 of them coming. And if you get, get through 22 of them, another 17 are growing behind that one. No, you have to look at the root of it. What is the root of these things? Hmm? And don't be afraid. Because as deep as you go, as much as you discover, you're always there. In the freshest, the most profound, the most radical discovery, you'll find you're always there. In the heart of it. So this is what I want to engage your attention to say that uh, just now I've been giving this example. It seems to work for a lot of people. Let's say that you have come here today and today is the only day, this moment. And you've come because you want to meet. You feel, you know, I, I want to meet uh, Muji and we're, we're going to see because I want to really know myself. And I said, okay, knock at the door, bang, bang, bang. Hello? Yes, there's, there's so and so at the door. Okay, ah, uh, come in. And you open the door, I says, ah, one thing, leave uh, outside, leave your mind outside for me, please. Yeah. There's a mind rack outside. Just leave your mind there, a basket, yeah, and leave uh, everything to do with your past. You know, we're going to sit together for a few minutes. And when we're finished sitting, you can go back and take your mind back and all the things. They'll still be waiting for you. Believe me, they will be waiting for you. Okay? So, leave them there. Leave your, all your projections about, you know, I want this in the future. I want to be this and I want that. And leave all, just your story. Your most beautiful desire, even for liberation. For a moment, I say, just leave it. Including your projections or understanding and all your book knowledge and all everything. Just leave everything outside for a moment. And uh, even the feeling I, any content about I am, I am, the, leave all of that. Okay? So you're totally empty, empty, empty. And come in. Come in. Thank you. Clunk, clunk. Look. Just, just be here. You know. Just like this. Hmm? And I don't want you to use any imagination now. No imagination, no visualization. Just your sober perceiving. Makes it authentic. Because to imagine, you have to be in the mood. So not even that much effort is going to be asked of you. So right now, leave everything outside and you've, you've come in. Your senses are still working, because they're not a problem. Senses are working. Your powers to perceive is working. But don't engage in any thought, or memory, or anything like that. Leave everything. You're not going to engage. You are here now. Who is in for this? So some of you really are not in for this? Here is a chance to really discover yourself, not myself, not Donald Trump or Mr. President. Yourself, I'm saying. Who is into this exercise? Few minutes. Yeah? Okay, all right. A bit disappointing, but okay. But you are here. Let's work with you who are open to that. So simply leave all your ideas aside just for a moment, leave them. And simply just be here, present, in what remains now. If you leave all those things. So we're not going to talk about your stories, about what you did in the past and where you went and all. No, we're not going to do any of that. Leave everything. And just be empty for a moment. Are you here or not? Yes. Yes, very good. So 
you are here but not you plus not you and just this sense your sense of your person you have left outside and your desires and attachments everything you have left outside just to have this instant of just you and what you will discover now just being only you okay and no next like okay I'm, I've done it I'm empty now what no so don't touch now what what's next for a minute because the mind is always waiting for the next experience the next thing to do so be aware of that but don't go with that leave that so you're simply here you're just here I'm just going to give you a few seconds just to feel feel yourself You're informationless for a moment. <clears throat> Remember soon you can go back and, and take your things. Yeah? You don't even have to find them, they'll just jump back on you anyway. Okay, so we can do that. So leave them outside. You're still here. Are you suffering this moment? No. Is there any anxiety for you? Huh? He says there's too much noise around. Does it matter? No. Hmm? Keep looking again, including you who say there's too much noise around. Just paying attention just to your beingness, <coughs> the sense of just being. Just be with this. There's no judgment. There's perception, but there's no judgment. No desire. Can you have a credible existence without desire and judgment? Feel, feel now. Feel. I have it right now. Yes. You have it? No, not the right words. Yeah. You're here, no? You're here. Who are you here without your stories and your desires and attachments? Just something here, here. What is it that's really here? And what is it that's really you? Yes. You're in a perfect, perfect place to answer from your own experience now, from your own seeing. You don't need any book, just from your own seeing. The senses are somehow through the senses, you are perceiving the sense and the sense objects and the sensations, but just perceiving. You are aware of them, but not taking anything personally. You are simply aware. If there is something that feels, I am disturbed by so and so and so, that I is also just thought. It's just a f feeling. It is also just allow it to just drift on. You are here. Just pay attention only to this being here. And notice you are not waiting. How are you when you are not waiting? Mind wants to come in, it wants to say, Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, or maybe some irritableness may come because a, an old habit is not being fed. But simply there's awareness of this. 
don't identify with that. You're simply aware. You're like a, like a space in which perception is taking place. Who is the hero of these sounds? Who is the feeler of the wind? What is it that's aware of the, that inner silence or perceive that serenity? Again, don't make anything up. Don't imagine. It's pure feeling. Why am I saying these things? Because it's effortless. Be in this effortless place. Something wants to be efforting, but that's not you. That's just another thought, another, another movement. Maybe you're aware of that, but don't get connected with it. So anything can be perceived, but don't, don't log in. Now, rather than paying attention to the things that may arise and pass, pay your attention only to the feeling of being, which is the space in which everything is appearing and disappearing, coming and going. Be only paying attention to the space. Be one with the space. Hmm? Don't create. Is there any identity here? No. no. Is this a disappointing discovery? Not at all. No. Is there any suffering? Any confusion? So this, this, this is yourself. Where did it begin? Where does it begin, this? Where is, does it have a beginning point? No, I'm always here. Yes. And I didn't leave. What about an end? Can you imagine an end, like a kind of death or something? Is it, can it, can it die? No. No. Does it need to be famous? is uh, yourself. Whenever you want, when you go out of this room of being, you can take your mind back if you want and uh, all the troubles and the attachments that you want. Keep it. Oh, I, I don't... <laughs> Is it competitive? 
Is it jealous? Is it insecure? Is somebody disappointed about it? Like, you know, where are the trumpets and the golden eagles? I mean, you know. This is the source being. You have a dynamic life. You got the body also. This body is the expression of your, this is your dynamic sense of self that is connected to the source self, which is what you are. You're both. But this is your temporary, this is your time body, this is your time life. You can function. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, how's mom? Fine? Okay, very good. And so this is moving like that. It is like, but it's like there's an invisible umbilical cord leading back to that place that I'm speaking of. So you're both. But in the place that you have been pointed, you can't talk about it. You can only be. So now the sense of the person, the dynamic sense is there. It's like a facade of the infinite space. And they are one. One side dynamic, one non-dynamic. One side totally timeless, another timeful. It's a time body. Hmm? It's a time personality changing. But against the background of your unchanging awareness self. It's the same for everyone. Can it go away? Can it fade? Like somebody comes and says, you know, listen, um, you know, uh, I need to talk to you about something important. What, really? Uh, and then suddenly it is gone. Can it go? Can it go? No. no. Did it come? I'm just here. You're just here. So today you have bypassed a lot of things that were posing that I got this little problem, could you help me to do this? And you are the sometimes I say you have to be the cow that jumped over the moon. And people say cows cannot jump over the moon. Hmm? What it means jumped over the moon mind. We all come with problems about our mind, what's happening in the mind and the person. I have this problem, this thing and this problem. I said, how about if we just kind of jump completely over all your problems? All the ones you had in the past, all the ones you could possibly have in the future, and even the present one. Would you feel that is very irresponsible? Because, you know, you've got problems, you have to be realistic, you have to face your problems. Suppose uh, it was shown you could jump over all of them because they're all just in the mind, they're not real. And I'm going to show you how. Come with me, look. Boom. Are you going to tell me now? Yeah, but you know what about my problems? Can we go back and kind of fix those now? Yes. Does it mean that you have nothing to do in your dynamic life? No. There are things you will change. You may see more clearly now that there are some patterns or some behavior that uh, you see it is not consistent with your, with your flow. 
But now something is going to help you to correct those much more easily because you're not coming from a personal perspective anymore. You're functioning from universal consciousness, not person. A person just keeps going around and trying things and manipulating and moving in a hurry and so on. But from your source self, you look, what is it? Uh, you are helping your dynamic life to flow. And even a great sage, if they had to teach the, the world something, they would have to teach through this dynamic being, through the sense of presence, through the sense, I am. They have to come and express through this very sense, the sense, I am. The sense I am is also the most perfect expression arising out of this place I show you. The sense I am is really the door that opens out into the phenomenal world. But behind it is total absoluteness. Are you understanding this energetically? Are you feeling it inside? Are you feeling it? Or is it mental? Please give me some feedback because we can start talking about something else if you want. Yes. You have to be confirming this because for many years, you know, people study, 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 and study, 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 study. And at the end, you just got to. <laughs> and then, you know, you, you can't make use of all your study. You can't let go of it. You become attached to it. And then you say, yeah, I know it, I know it, intellectually. But intellectual knowing is not uh, knowing. You must experience here, you must know, like you know now. Because you know and you are. Your knowing and being are one now. It's not just you know in your head. You may know, but you are at the same time. And how do you know you're not just imagining this? Someone say, you know. Yeah. You feel like you're in a dream sleeping. Yes, yes. If you know you're in a dream sleeping, you're at least awake to know that. What is dreamy about it? There's a beautiful detachment. You will not take things arising so seriously because your beingness, it becomes very light. It's the person that takes things so seriously. The person is a very, very serious thing. It's more serious than a heart attack. The person is always oh, personal and. Oh. But your beingness is not like that. Feel it and see. Feel it's abundant. It's abundant now. How much beingness did you get now? 30%? Huh? Full power. Full power. <laughs> so my question still comes, can it wear off? And you are the perfect uh, beings to ask this question because you don't have to be theoretical about it. You can answer from your experience now. Can it wear off? No. No. We'll see. Huh? Because now you know you've always been this. You said, no? But this has always been here. It's been always been here. Maybe we have lived for many lifetimes without realizing this has always been there and this is where you are. Possible? Yeah. Can you imagine someone who says, 
Yes, I've got another five lives to live before I realize this. Five more births I must take before I get to this. Would you like to congratulate them? Say, <laughs> so at least it's five and not six, huh? <laughs> huh? Thank you, Mirji. Yes. This, this, this is what I came to point out. This is what I came to point out. Hmm?